Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends welcome to Hasib Electronics Today I have a switch mount power supply SMPS Which is uh, damaged very badly It takes uh, from 100 to 260 volt at input Here is a rectifier section Filter and, filter and protection circuit Here is a rectifier section Then there is a chopper circuit here is a pulse width controller UCC 38500 it's a dual pulse width modulator controller for main and downstream converter and after that after this section it makes a conversion here from 36 volt to 56 volt adjustable here is adjustable this power supply is damaged very badly it is a heat sink and uh, we will see first of all I will show you damage because uh, sometime the power supply is high current power supply is damaged like this in the output area the input area is safe maximum power power supply is damaged from input side but this power supply damaged at output side it is used for pro 48 volt DC I will explain the circuit and then we will see what we can do for this if the input section and pulse width modulator controller section is ok then I will design a 48 volt linear regulator and I will replace this section it is a MOSFET and this MOSFET is controlled from LM224 and LM224 it have its own power standalone power and power regulator then it takes uh, offset voltage uh, voltage level from this potentiometer and it verifies the rectification and output filtration then there is the output filter choke output from here and maybe a high voltage entered and then in the output because there is no chance that this supply uh, can damage like this because it have a fully controlled first of all it have I have input here one line two line after that every line it have fuse double fuse and after double fuse you can see there is MOV okay voltage arrestner then there is capacitor for uh, high frequency harmonics then there is capacitor uh, inductor two line filter after two line filter then there is again capacitor then the one line goes to relay here is a black small relay this relay takes drive in case of any failure in case of any abnormality in the inverter section it will disable this relay and this relay will cut the power this power from here this point and this point then here is a relay this line goes directly there are MOVs and varistors again here so this circuit works like this after that we have a capacitor there are many safeties and there are many fuse resistors and voltage arresteners so there is a cascade section it is voltage divider which divides the voltage and after that there is a 12 volt regulator to power up this section and it starts here are two ICs the one is pulse width modulator and second one is 14 stage ripple counter here is a ripple counter to measure the frequency 
then this section is connected to this here is a optocoupler IC this double optocoupler IC it is connected for feedback it is connected like this and this is for voltage verification to, to verify the pulses current sensor and here is drive for downstream converter so we have combination like this this PFC transformer and this transformer gives output voltage here and there is also a output for biasing this LM224 IC and here is another FET section because this uh, pulse switch modulator PWM controller drives two transformers two sections this section and this section one is series uh, one is diode to protect this uh, transformer winding and it is in series now we will see then there is one circuit that gives a biasing voltage then there is the same time DC to DC converter which gives 48 volt DC here is regulator when a high voltage entered in the output area the DC capacitors blasted everything blast and so this was the I hope so it is my opinion so this is a basic reason of this damage so I will see now we will connect power I will connect uh, 110 volt instead of 220 because I have isolated power 38500 it is a complete set it is fully automatic IC it gives a con complete control for both both circuits then there is HEF 4060 that is uh, 14 stage ripple counter and then we have a photo transistor photocoupler here now we will see the circuit what is the behavior of this circuit we will see it now it's 117 volt first of all I will check if there is any heat up so first of all I will check DC voltage in the first stage I have to check the DC voltage in the output of the capacitor it is giving me 108 volt that's good then I have to check the biasing voltage for SMPS this the entering 27 volt the biasing voltage are available for this chip so that means this IC should work okay then I have a output stage from we will check the output oh wow no, nice it's giving me 19 volt so we have both power supplies high voltage and low voltage power supply for biasing this circuit that means it's good and then I will check the output because it is high frequency that means I have voltage 119 volt in the output that's good so I have to design a 48 volt section rectifier section in the output so I can I can recover this IC when I will I have 119 volt in the output so that means this complete section is working I have to design a rectifier and regulator section in the output so I will recover this power supply and I will share a 48 volt linear regulator because this time this section is working because it is giving feedback 
so our complete circuit this circuit is working we have just problem in this area so I will recover this area I have output on these two terminals here and here I have 119 volt DC AC sorry and uh, then I will apply it to SCR and I will control the switching the rectification level so I will share the details of my next circuit thanks for watching if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share thank you for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh